Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. In this series of videos, we're gonna be talking about core concepts and strategies for the early childhood teacher certification exams. Use this video and other videos to help you on your teacher certification exam. Let's look at the early childhood score report. I want you to understand how to interpret it. For example, the test itself is broken into two sections, multiple choice, where there are 100 questions, and an open response section, an essay section, where there are two questions. This multiple choice with these 100 questions, this is worth 80% of your test. It's the bulk of your test. This is a section of the test where all those terms and vocabulary and studying those terms and vocabulary really help. The open response, these two essay questions are 20% of the test. If you want to think about it, that 20%, that 20% is worth 60 points. The 60 points is a big deal, which is why it's super important. Go back and make sure you understand those basic concepts. In the class, we really work on focusing on getting in the threes and fours. So hopefully that's your goal. But this really isn't the deal breaker. Well, the deal breaker is the multiple choice. So let's take a closer look at that. The multiple choice is broken into three major sections, an early childhood development section, a children's literature, an emergent writing section, and a content section. And that content involves math, science, English, history, and geography questions. There's a ton of stuff on this test that's being covered for the multiple choice. We've got a, a childhood development section, children's literature section, an emergent writer section, a series of questions, math, science, English, history, geography, lots of different areas here. I want you to track all the vocabulary and the pre-workshop homework. This list is just a, a, an abbreviated list. It's a long list, but there are a lot more concepts that we could add. So if you come across another term or concept that's not included on this list, add it in because it will help you understand the questions better and get more right on the multiple choice. I want to point out one more thing regarding the early childhood scores. This is from the practice test, and it helps you calculate the score on the early childhood MTEL02 exam. And there's some very important things I want you to pick up on that are here that are totally not clear. First, if you only answer 75 of the multiple choice questions correct, you only get a total of 178 points. That means even if you get an eight, so an eight is, means you got two fours on the essays. So even if you do perfect on both essays and get two fours, you only get 60 points. And 178 plus 60 points, that's a score of 238. It's not enough. So what I'm saying is on the multiple choice, if you only answer 75 right, there is no way of passing, even with a perfect score in the essay. I'll put a frowny town there. Well, let's say you get 76 right. Just one more question. Now you get 190 points on the multiple choice. And now you only need to get a six. A six means you got two threes on the essays. So the two threes, I'll do the six divided by two. It means your average score in the essays is a three. If you get 76 right, one more question right on the, on the multiple choice, and you get a three or a four, you pass because 50 plus 190 is 240. So if you can get that three, and get one more correct on the multiple choice, just a 76 as opposed to a 75, you have passed. I feel that's too close to call. It's just, it's just too close. So I want everyone, uh, I don't want you to shoot for the 76. Let's all shoot for 81, which is five more points above 76. Let's shoot for the 81. 81 out of 100, you're getting about 80% right on the multiple choice. And if you get that 81, and get that 201 score on the multiple choice. Well, now all you need to do is get a two. So the four means you got two twos on the essay. So four divided by two gets you an average score of two and you get your 41 points. So look at this. If you can just get 81 right on the multiple choice, five more than 76, six more than 75, just, just, just this 81 then all you need to do to pass is get a two, a three, or four. And I feel, like the, I feel like this is the one to go for if you're studying for this test. If you can shoot for 81 on the multiple choice and at least a two on the essay, I want you to go above a two, but just as a cushion, if you shoot for the three and four and only get the two, that's fine. You can still pass this. 
All right, I want to point this stuff out, teams, just to help different teachers that are out there. Some teachers are, are preparing for this and they struggle with the essays. And I want you to know that even if you get a two on the essays, if you get 81 right in the multiple choice, you can do it. There's other teachers out there, they do great at the essays. They're awesome at the essays, okay? They write threes and fours on the essays. But I want you to remember, if you, if you only do 75 right in the multiple choice, you forget to study the multiple choice, there's no way of passing either. So find your range here. Maybe, maybe if we all shoot for 81 right here, that will take some of the pressure off on the essays, okay? All right, let me know if this helps. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.